Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Yes, y'all. Change the scenery. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on outside, but I'm going to be real. You know what I'm saying? And say, I just simply do not feel like going out the and arguing with nobody. I don't feel like going out the going off on nobody. And <clears throat> frankly, as I have said before, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying not to do that. Okay. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's not other people's responsibility for me to do what I need to do. But you know what I'm saying? As my mother would say, if you don't work, you don't eat. So here we are. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it is what it is. We just gonna have to switch rules for today. The message that I heard is didn't know how that is defaulting. The scripture comes from John. I did not bring a highlighter in here. Oh, well, we're going to keep it pushing. John 3 and 4. Nicodemus says to him, how is a man able to be born being old? Is he able to enter into the womb of his mother a second time? The kingdom of God. Hold on. And to be born, Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone may not be born of water and the spirit, he is not able to enter the kingdom of God. That which has been born of the flesh is flesh, and that which has been born of the spirit is spirit. You may not wonder... You have not known from where one comes to where one goes. Thus is everyone who has been born of the spirit. Okay, so here's the message. <clears throat> For somebody, um, God is saying you may not realize it, but every single person that you come across is not born of the spirit. And, you know, sometimes this could be, you know, kind of confusing. Like, wait, what? Yeah. God is saying every single person you come across is not of the spirit. Now, typically, ironically, when I started this uh, message, I was thinking about how people keep asking me. It is in the community section what Bible I am reading, um, where you can find it, the links and all that jazz. But... Moving forward, you know, a lot of people don't realize because they have never <clears throat> experienced reading the other books of the Bible. And um, they have no idea that there are other things going on here. You know what I'm saying? Like I talk about in my messages, yes, the fall, we already know from scripture that the fallen angels came down here. That they were sleeping around with man and they created, they procreated children. We also know, you know what I'm saying? Well, I know, you know, even fewer people realize that all these, the, you know, these lowercase g gods of hoodoo, voodoo, spirituality, um, all these different, you know what I'm saying? The 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 Aztecs and all these different people that from uh the past that had all of these gods that they would pray to, that they would give sacrifices to, that they would do all these things for, and things would happen. These are those fallen angels. Some these are those deities, all of these demigods that we know of as far as Hercules, Perseus, um. And even some of these lowercase g gods that they did claim to be um, gods, they are the spawn of these fallen angels, the watchers coming down here and mating with humans. Now, we also know, baby, the enemy coming against my voice, that God sent the flood to get rid of this because they was doing too much. And God sent the flood to wipe them out. When God sent that flood, he did wipe out a good amount of everything that was going on here. But we also know as the book carries on, as the Bible carries on, that there were giants roaming around in the land of Canaan. Okay, the land of the Canaanites. They, they were roaming around there. They, and this is after the flood. So what does this mean? Either A... Some more angels came down here and did the same thing. Or B, some of these people carried on. They survived through this flood. 
You have to understand there has been no other event that has wiped out these people. So there may very well, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not trying to get too deep into it. But you know what I'm saying? If you think back and you look back into uh, certain bloodlines and you look back into certain traditions, there were people that believed that they only would be with their own. They could only make with their own. And they did this because there was something in their bloodline. They would only choose rulers that were part of a certain bloodline. And they did that for a reason. Because they knew that those people that was part of that bloodline, they were a part of these fallen angels. They had, they were the spawn of them. God said, everybody that you come in contact with ain't a human. Everybody you come in contact with is not a part of his creation. God said what he said. He said that these people that are spawns from the fallen angels, they are not a part of his creation and they will never see the kingdom of heaven. There is no repentance for them. There is no forgiveness for them. God is not trying to hear them. God don't want to see them. He don't want to hear what they have to say. He don't get it. It's, 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 and that's just the truth of it. That's the truth of the matter. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And you know, uh, some people may find this hard to believe and they may be like, what, what, what? This is all in the book of Enoch. I went over the book of Enoch years ago. You know what I'm saying? For those of you, you know what I'm saying, that's coming on here to talk about, well, Star, I love you. I, I wish you would just stick to the regular books. I wish you would do this. I wish. First of all, understand that the scrolls, the same scrolls that a lot of these lost books came from, they were found with the scrolls that created the Bible that we know today, first of all. Second of all, I've been doing this for years, and years ago, I was reading the lost books. And I'm just being real. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't to get on nobody. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to come off with an attitude. I'm just being real. But with that being said, um, you know, for those of you that don't know, your girl is the kind of part I've been, I, I'm not, I'm not just a person that, you know, I, I just read what is given to me. I, I'm, I'm a little nerd. I can't stay. I know, you know, your girl like, loves fashion. I love pink. I love, you know what I'm saying? I love some of the popular things. I love, um, you know what I'm saying? Certain brands and all kind of stuff. And a lot of times when people see me and they look at my appearance and my outer appearance, my personality, I'm a little hood, a little country and they automatically assume that I am a certain way. But I I have done a lot of a lot of research. I have done a lot of research. I have read a many books. I have talked to a many people and I have come I put two and two together. And that's just me being real. But um there are some people that there is no repentance for them. And I don't know who this is for. I don't know who it is that you are. It's like you are trying so hard to save this person. And you trying so hard to save them. And you so concerned about why they don't want kids. And why they don't want this. And why won't they repent to God. And why they won't turn away from this. And why they doing this, that, and the third. God said, you keep trying to poke and poke and poke at somebody that not only do they not want to be saved, they can't be saved because they are not from a bloodline that is of God. There, I said it. And that's for whoever that's for. God said they are not from a bloodline that is of God. They will never see heaven, says the Lord. They will not see heaven because of what their ancestors did. Because of what they ancestors decided to do. Because of, you know what I'm saying? Whatever special, they may have some special abilities. This may be somebody, they got some kind of special things going on. It don't matter who they are to you. It could be a close friend, somebody you grew up with, somebody you did this, that, and the third. God said none of that matters. In reality, he knows who they are. He knows, even if it's just a, he knows. They are not of God and they will not enter the kingdom of heaven because they are not a part of his, his, uh, creation. They are not a part of his plan. They were, they not, it don't matter what you talking about. It don't matter. And God said what he said. And that's the end of it. And you know what I'm saying? 
For whoever this is for, it could be hard for you to believe. It can make you, you know what I'm saying, a little sad. It can make you emotional. It can make you all these things. But you know what I'm saying? God said what he said. And every single one of those people that are from that bloodline of the fallen angels and the women that lay with them, they are spirits that will forever roam the earth. What are they? Demons. They are spirits that will forever roam the earth. Does that mean that they all going to be mean the whole time? You know, hey, I can't, you know, say that. But it, does that mean, you know what I'm saying? But in reality, when we look back on the books, where they are talking about what they were doing while they were down, they was down here acting a complete fool. They was flexing, flexing their power. They were eating people. They was doing all kind of crazy stuff. And because they were doing all these crazy things, God said, oh, no. He said, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Now, a few of them survived. And there may, you know what I'm saying? This message is to let somebody know there's a very, there's a percentage of people that got that in their blood. And those people cannot be saved. They will never see heaven. They will roam the earth for all eternity because they were never intended to be a part of God's plan. And that's the message. Okay. That's the message. You know what I'm saying? God is saying they don't, they don't have a spirit. They don't have a soul. They, they, this is, this is like, you know, it's borderline. Like, you know, when people talk about, um, science and how um you know so they're you know the movies about people trying to create life and they're trying to create a person or they're trying to create this they're trying to create that and it may come to life kind of like edward scissorhands vibes like it may come to life and it may move around and it could possibly have emotions and then it could possibly not because edward scissorhands like he had emotions but he didn't have emotions and it's like he didn't really fit in. He was, you, you could tell he was, it was something off about him. You could tell it was something weird about him. And I'm just saying that for whoever this is for, this person, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They, 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 don't, they not going to heaven, boo. And that's the message. You know what I'm saying? You can carry on. It ain't nothing wrong with praying for people. It ain't nothing wrong with, you know, having a heart. Um, that is how God created us to care and to have a heart. And you know what I'm saying? You can pray for them all you want to. As we know in the book of Enoch, Enoch was praying for those fallen angels, for those watchers that came to him and they were asking him to pray for them. But guess what God told him? Ain't no repentance for them. God said, ain't no repentance for them. They are going, they are going to the abyss. And I'm locking them up there until I get ready to judge them. And that's what it is. And just like I've talked about this before in any um, new age spirituality sector you want to, you decide that you want to go in, you know what I'm saying? We already know it's confusion in the enemy's camp. Whatever sector you think you go, you interested in this, that, and the third, whatever it is, boo. You call on the spirits, you got to call on whatever spirits to come and open up the gate okay um you know what i'm saying i know for one of papa leg papa leg but you gotta call him and you gotta give him whatever he want so he can call them people to come up there and guess why he gotta do that he you gotta have keys for him and everything because they are locked in the abyss waiting on judgment baby is not a game and i know some people they like to float through life and they don't want to pay attention to the things that's going on and they ignore this and they do do your thing you know what i'm saying but this is the truth this is the truth and you know what i'm saying this is why i feel like the books are all of the books are important because there are so many there's so much information in here that we don't know about you know what I'm saying? And when you don't know about these things, you, you'll find yourself in a position to where you are calling a deity God that is not God. You'll find yourself in a position to where you're leaving food for a spirit that can't eat. You find yourself in a position where you're leaving cigarettes for a spirit that can't smoke. You find yourself in a position where you're leaving a shot that ain't never going to get drank. And that's just, that, that's the message, baby. Baby, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.